friends, so welcome to my first major Kmart haul for 2022. This Kmart haul has got something for everyone. It has kitchen items, it has home decor, it has storage, it has stationery, it has women's wear. So if you're into Kmart, then stick around and watch what I bought. Starting off in the kitchen section, I needed some new jars. Our plum tree gave me loads and loads of plums this year, and I needed some new jars to contain the jam when I made it. So I purchased this Anko three preserving jars. They're 550 mils with a diameter of 8.8 .8 centimeters. These are fabulous. They're not too big and not too small, and so, they're just right. While I was in the kitchen section, I was also on the lookout for some new cookie cutters. I can't seem to find the biscuit cutters that I used to have. I haven't done a lot of baking over the last few years, so maybe they've just gone missing somewhere. Uh, we moved house five years ago, so possibly they might have been misplaced in the move. But anyway, I was at Kmart and I thought I'd have a look at their cookie cutters. And I found this set of four. It is a hard star circle and a flower. And they're just the perfect size for the cookies that I want to make for Valentine's Day. I found something else that was really useful. You know when you bake and you have to scrape the bowl, we most, I'm sure we all have a spatula. I found a hand spatula and this is perfect. Have a look at that. Not only is it ideal in being able to scrape everything from a bowl, it also has on it the conversion chart between cups, ounces, tablespoons, teaspoons, and milliliters, along with the temperatures for ovens. So between Celsius, Fahrenheit, and gas mark. So for example, gas mark number three is 325 Fahrenheit and 160 degrees. Handy. So not only is it a spatula, but also a conversion tool. Now, if you're like me, you probably just Google the answer, but sometimes it's just so handy to have something like this in the kitchen when you're using it to know exactly what something converts to. While I was in the kitchen and storage section, I specifically went to Kmart because I am looking at decluttering a couple of my drawers in the kitchen. I have, you know, I think we all have those, those kind of drawers, they become junk drawers. So you might set them up and have everything neatly stored away. But after a couple of years, people just go and throw everything in there. And then suddenly you can't find what it is that you're actually looking for. So I thought in the kitchen section, I found these cutlery trays and I'm planning on using them to store wires and elastics and lip glosses and anything else that's in my junk drawer in here and the compartments are varied enough that i can put things in here without them going missing or falling out or just rolling off but these are the clear cutlery tray 7.8 centimeters by 33.4 by 40.7 centimeters with non-slip feet and while i was there i also purchased the clear drawer medium and narrow these are going to be really handy also to store my makeup. I'm going to be doing a decluttering of my makeup and my palettes. And although I have them all sectioned off in my drawers, they're not quite the neatest. If anything, over the years, they've just gone crazy. Um, they were neat to start off with, but over time with me taking things out, it's just become a little bit crazy. So I'm going to try and declutter my bathroom. Specifically, I'm going to try and remove the this four draw set from Ikea that I have was designed to hold all the overflow that I couldn't put in my vanity. However, I have a decent sized vanity with two other drawers beside it. Those two drawers are full of makeup and the four draw from Ikea is then a full of perfumes and hair combs, hair dryers, hair styling, all different types of styling tools. And yet with all that storage space, I still have overflow of makeup and hair products sitting on top, which I want to declutter. So I purchased these trays in the hope that I can start rearranging, first off, decluttering everything, but then also rearranging things in a way so that I can actually do away with the four drawer stand from Ikea and have everything neat in the two drawers and in the cupboards under the vanity. I saw these Asha Recycle Cotton Reversible Placemats. These have some red in them on the sides and they're reversible in that one side is in cream, black and red, predominantly cream. And on the other side, it's predominantly black. And I'm going to be using this in the kitchen on our table. I believe these were only $1.50 each and I do prefer the rectangular shape rather than the round one that I have because it's hard to keep all the glasses and the cutlery staying within the circle placemats that I have. I find that the rectangular ones are a little bit more user friendly and also these can go in the washing machine on a gentle cycle otherwise they'll shrink and wash off really easily. 
And while I was walking through the candle section, my eyes caught sight of these Paris Patisserie three fragrant candles in the scent of vanilla brioche, pear tart, and berry macaroon, which sounded absolutely divine. I know a few of you like it when I talk about the candles and I actually give you my first scent impression of them. I strut out of the packet without burning them. So here I go opening these and I'll give you my impression on them. I love the aesthetic of these candles because as you can see, they have beautiful etched glass containers, which you can then use later on once you've used the candle to store anything you like. Now, these are gorgeous. This, this one here is a gray colored one and it is vanilla brioche. Vanilla, clove, yep, a hint of cinnamon. So I really like this. The next one is the pear tart and this is in a lovely pale tint. I smell the pear in this one. It does smell a bit soapy. Yep, yeah, but the top note is definitely not pear. And the last one I really like the look of anyway is this gorgeous burgundy maroni red etched glass. And this is the berry macaroon fragrance. And yes, it does have a scent of berry. Sweet but tangy. Yes, this is really lovely. The other box of candles that I purchased are the Matcha Tea Collection. And this is a set of three soy wax candles in the fragrance of chai tea, matcha tea, and earl grey. And I love these candles because they actually tell you what the top note, the middle note, and the base note on all these candles are. So the chai tea candle has a top note of bergamot, orange, lemon, lavender, mid notes of nutmeg, ylang ylang, jasmine, clary sage, and a base note of musk and amber. It does have a soft scent to it. So there is not one top scent that is the leading scent. It is actually very delicate and it won't hit your nostrils with a huge scent that makes you think, oh, it's definitely lemon or it's definitely lavender. This is a lovely mix. The next candle is the matcha tea. And the matcha tea top notes are green tea, bergamot and thyme with middle notes of rose, clary sage and cyclamen and a base note of musk, amber and cedar wood. Oh, this is nice. This is very fresh. This would go really well in a kitchen where you want a fresh scent, but also intense enough that you'll smell it when you walk past. And the last one in the tea collection is the Earl Grey. Top notes are fennel, basil, eucalyptus, and bergamot, with middle notes of parsley, rose, and violet, and base note of peach, musk, amber, and cedar wood. Eucalyptus isn't very strong. I'd say the bergamot is the most, the strongest top note that I can smell. And of course, my nose picks up different scents from yours, but from my perspective, this one is bergamot, stronger scent. It does have that freshness of parsley. Because there are so many different scents, it's hard to actually pick up the main one, but it can definitely smell the bergamot and a little bit of the sensuality of the cedar wood. But while I was in the storage section, I decided to stock up on some more of these wide and high stackable roller storage. I bought a few of these last year when I was trying to declutter the storage area underneath my sink and when I was setting up my pantry I found these were extremely useful to segment all the items and still have them at easy easy reach. The wheels underneath make it really easy to use they just glide out without scratching any of the surfaces and these partitions these segments here can actually be moved. You just unclip them and remove them. They're very easy to adjust. So I bought these two because I want to tidy up the area in my vanity. I have a lot of makeup and a lot of hair products and they overflow onto this Ikea four drawer unit that I have. But when I have two big drawers and two cupboards, I really think I should be able to make everything fit in there without having overflow above the vanity and in the side Ikea drawer. So that's my intention and hence why I purchased these items. Walking through the home decor section, there's an area in my house that I'd like to tidy up. I've introduced some live plants in my house recently, probably over the last six months and where I'd stored these plants, originally they weren't getting a lot of light, so they were dying. However, I've relocated them and there they're thriving, they're doing really well. And at the time I hadn't bought any base pots for them because I didn't know that where they were gonna stay or how they were going to acclimatize in my house. Well, now that they're settled in, I was looking for something to replace the current misers that they're in. And so I walked through Kmart and I saw these gorgeous, simple, elegant vases. They're very simple. They have a base plate underneath to collect any water spillage and I think they're large enough to fit my plants. And I bought two of 
them because I've got two pot plants there to repot. And lastly, I walked through the pyjama section or loungewear section because I needed some new pyjamas. We're heading towards the end of summer and my pyjamas are starting to look a little bit ratty. And I thought, you know what? They're probably going to have some sales or they'll have some new items that I haven't seen yet. So let's go and have a quick look. And of course, when I go and have a quick look, I'm bound to find something that I like. And I found these gorgeous new pyjama sets. They're long pants. I like to wear long pants rather than short pants to bed. I just find them more comfortable, but then short sleeve top. And this one, says quality nap time and it has the matching floral australiana pants to go with it and of course i couldn't decide between that and the other option that they had which said vacay mood these were only 15 dollars, so they were very cheap and they're very lightweight so if you're going through a little bit of midlife night sweats these will be really handy to wear because they're very light and breathable cotton and this one here in the light green color has got a seashell pattern on the pants. I was walking through the t-shirt section and I saw this cute little training t-shirt. It's got the built-in padded shoulder pants and it's from Everlast, white on white, and it was down to $8. And then as I'm a little bit bored with all my summer clothing, I've worn them, I think, a little bit to death. I was walking past the tops. I saw this cute little boxy top for only $15. And it's a frilly, frill sleeve, short sleeve. Off. It feels like it would be a very lightweight linen, but I'd say it's probably cotton. But it looks very breathable, very airy and breezy. I'm looking forward to wearing this in the next few days. Walking through the ladies' accessories, I needed to replace my headband that I use. I've come out of the shower and I'm doing my makeup. It's frayed and broken. And so I went to the accessory section specifically to buy some new headbands. I was looking for something simple like what I had, but I saw these cute little checkered headbands with a knot at the top. And this is a neutral color that I thought were really pretty. I don't generally wear headbands out, but this is really cute for when I do my makeup and it doesn't feel very tight. Like some headbands, they're really snug at the bottom here. And when they sit behind my ear, they actually press in and give me a headache. These ones don't do that. So I bought this one and this was only $5. And I also bought a plain one, which is just a nice, cute little linen neutral color. And this is also $5. Actually, as I'm putting it down, I noticed that this would match perfectly the top that I bought. So who knows, I might wear it out. I made a little detour through the book section and the stationery section. There's always something there that grabs my eyes. And I bought a couple of more books to read. This one here from John Grisham, The Judges List, I haven't read yet. And this one here from James Patterson in his series of Alex Cross thrillers, A Fear No Evil, also one that I haven't read. So I'm looking forward to getting stuck into these in the next few days. And of course, walking through the stationery section, I could couldn't not look at the stationery that they had and I saw this gorgeous yellow notebook. Now you know that yellow is one of my favorite colors and this one is so bright and cheery. It just has lined pages and it's going to be gorgeous sitting on my bedside table as I come up with ideas just before the bed. Are you like that? Do you just sometimes at night that you go through this mental checklist of what needs to be done the following day and you've got nothing to write on or you try and say okay I'm going to remember that tomorrow morning and then come the morning you forget completely. I'm very much like that. So now I have a notebook on my bedside table with a lovely little pen that I write things down in as they pop into my head so that I don't forget. And of course, to go with the notebook, I stocked up on some new pens and these are lovely. They're very bright and colorful and they'll go really well with my yellow notebook. And the last item that I purchased is the student dry eraser board. Now I'm planning on putting this on my fridge. So if I need to write any quick notes or scribble down a few items that I need to buy on my next shopping list or while I'm thinking about them or as I'm clearing out something from the fridge, I can do that before then I add it onto my actual shopping list for the end of the week when I do my meal planning. The good thing about this dry eraser board is that A, it also comes with magnetic clips so you can put these on the fridge to hold any nodes, bills, whatnot. And it comes with its own little whiteboard marker and it has a little pocket here where you can put a pen, you can put little knickknacks that you need or even just store the magnets. That's it. That was my Kmart haul. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you next time. Bye.